This video is sponsored by PDF Element. Offering the same powerful features as Adobe Acrobat, but with better user interface, more extra features and at fraction the price for all platforms. More about this surprisingly great software at the end of the video. And links below for those who cannot wait to get the ongoing 40% discount. Hi everyone. This video is a special one, since after watching it, you will be able to build your smart home, a whole smart home for just under 200 bucks. And that's without sacrificing product quality and actually having some of the best products out there. Let us begin with the master device, the one to control them all with voice commands. My favorite one is the Google Home Mini, because it is cheap, good designed and I also think it is surpassing Alexa with its natural conversation and intelligence. Google Home Mini will be able to control all the devices I will be mentioning in this video and also as an extra smart touch by helping you with daily activities like transit, calendar, news and weather and much more. So the Google Home Mini costs 49 bucks. So now you have 151 bucks remaining from your initial 200 bucks budget to spend. Now let's talk about home appliances. The first ones are smart bulbs. Because we turn on and off lights every day, it would be great to automate these cycles and control lights even when you're outside in order to save energy and because you're a lazy ass. The definite budget solution are the singlet lights. Great affordable lights, Everyone is recommending them and you can get them from the link in the description. A starter kit containing two bulbs and a hub costs only 39 bucks. After that, you will have the ability to add some extra bulbs to the same hub. One bulb will cost you just 10 bucks. These bulbs only produce warm white light. They are not colored. You can control them using the app or by your voice since they work with the Google Home Mini and Alexa too. Turn on the main light. You got it, turning the main on. Change the main brightness to 100%. Sure, setting the main brightness to 100%. I like these a lot because they are very lightweight and good design. The brightness is also great to clear up the whole room. You can also set them to light up on a specific time using the app and also manage your power consumption. So these are 39 additional bucks. Now you still have 112 bucks more to spend. Now let's get to turning whatever already existing stupid home device to a smart one, simply by using a smart plug. My favorite one is a Miros plug. Miros is a small multi-plug that connects to your Wi-Fi network. This way you will have several multi-plugs in one device along with the four USB ports for charging too. You can plug whatever you want here and control every switch separately, either using the Miros app by turning on and off the switches you want, including the USB ports, or making automated daily schedules, or also link it to the Google Home Mini in order to control every switch by voice. Turn on switch one. Okay, turning on switch one. Turn on switch 3. Ok, turning switch 3 on. You can assign whatever name you want for every switch from the Google Home app. For example, if you're using switch 1 for a desk lamp, you can call it lamp. If you only prefer one simple plug, Miros has also this kind of plug that you can find in the description below. One of the convenient uses of a single plug would be with your air conditioner. You can shut it off and turn it on or set it to cool up your house when you are on the way home. You can practically turn any home appliance you already have to a smart one. The Miros Multiplug sells for only 30 bucks, so now you still have 82 bucks more to spend. So now your lights are automated, your dumb home devices are now smart, so what about your TV? Well, you guessed it, Chromecast. It is the obvious solution that works great with the Google Home. You can plug it on any TV supporting HDMI connection and turn it to a smart TV. I went with the new generation of Chromecast 
that now supports HD videos in 60 frames per second. Once connected to your home Wi-Fi network, you can either stream YouTube or Netflix videos from your phone or let the Google Home Mini do it by voice and even open your favorite shows. Also, you can perform basic actions by turning on and off the TV. Open Stranger Things on Netflix. Short, Stranger Things from Netflix. Playing on living room TV. The latest Chromecast generation costs 35 bucks, which leaves you with a 47 bucks mortis band. Well, you can buy whatever you want. Now you have actually built an entire smart home for just 153 bucks. It is amazing how smart home appliances are getting cheaper without sacrificing quality. I think if you're thinking of automating stuff, this year is the best time to do it. Go and check everything in the description below and subscribe for more useful stuff. Time to know more about PDF Element. If you are tired of paying monthly fees for Adobe Acrobat for your personal or business use, well, PDF Element offers a one lifetime payment at fraction of the price, with the same features presented in a better way, and now with a 40% discount for those lucky users that will click on the link in the description below. And also get the chance to win an iPhone XS when downloading the software. If you're still thinking, well, you can try it for free for one month. PDF Element is available for Windows and Mac OS and for Android and iOS if you prefer using your smartphone. You can easily edit PDF documents since the software can automatically detect the zones to edit or convert to a tons of different files format from one click, including EPUB if you are into e-reading. Beside of adding and editing images on PDF, text zones, watermarks, and certain forms like check and list boxes, you can of course digitally sign and protect your PDF with a password protected signature, or insert a handwritten one. If you're on mobile, you can directly sign your documents on the go. I've been lately using this software, and I am so glad to switch to it for my work and business. Turn off everything. 